Just now the ball to get an airborne. Good catch. That, those can so easily be put out. Sensible cricket from uh, these two. Patel supporting Victoria superbly. Well, New Zealand really struggled to come to terms with this surface. Only Nathan Astle with 42 of the upper order had uh, anything to shout about at all. And it was only when Daniel Vittori came to the crease that New Zealand could post a decent score. Really good partnership for the last wicket with Patel. 47 of 66 balls they put on for that 10th wicket. And New Zealand have scrambled up to 165. Chaminda Vass was uh, wayward and he bowled no balls at the start and his figures were very good until his last over when he went for uh, 17. One for 41 off 10 overs and one maiden for him. Malinga wrapped the innings up, two for 22. It was the spinners though that did most of the damage. Jai Saria, two for 26 and Murali, four for 23. Sri Lanka then need 166 to win from their 50 overs at just over three runs per over. I think uh, Sri Lanka will have been thinking that uh, they were going to have to chase a lot less than that. How are they going to get on on this glued pitch? We'll take a break and when we come back we'll find out. This program is brought to you by RBC Financial. First for you. This program is being brought to you by Raza.com. We keep people... Mills to start from the pavilion end. Swung the ball prodigiously in the last game against South Africa. Here he comes. Could be a wide, was quick. Good take by McCullum. First run for Sri Lanka coming up. So I'm just starting too much on the stumps. Athletic take from McCallum. Started on the stumps and just swung down the leg side. Good timing. Ukul Taranga gets off the mark in fine style. He's an excellent type, timer of the ball, Taranga. Let that one come to him. It wasn't a half volley, but he let it come to him and played it right under his eyes, making sure that he kept it down. And the timing was good enough to beat the man at mid off. In the air, but also in the gap. And this will race away to the fence. So both the Sri Lankan batsmen getting off the mark with boundaries. Ends the over. Ten for no loss. Superb way to start. Both left-handers attacking batsmen. Jeff, like we mentioned earlier. So it's going to be very, very interesting the first ten overs. And Jasuria went at this a bit hard got his hands out in front of him instead of letting the ball come to him and it's carried in the air for some time but well directed edged in wide of the man at slip tight as it was at second slip but it's raced away to the fence much to the disappointment of the New Zealand fielders it's 17 for no loss quick delivery and flew off the edge second slip didn't have time to react gone in the air and what a 
nice shot. He's gone the distance. Sarah Jasuria. Stand up for this man. He is a real entertainer. He spoke about how he treats stuff that gives him room outside the off stump. Didn't try to keep this one down. It is out of the middle of the back. And that crossed the boundary at cover. Beautifully timed. And he knew it was gone from the moment he hit it. Much better reply from the bowler. Most fast bowlers have gone for the throat ball, the short delivery. But Bond's different. And this was a, a much better delivery. Nicely directed. Just going across the left hander. Get in the air, but in the gap as well. Could it be Sanajah Surya's day? He's attacking the bowlers for the moment. He's getting some quick runs. And this was well played. There's a man at point. He met it early and hit it to his left in that gap. There wasn't a big gap there. But he managed to get it right between the man at backward point and the man just in front of point. Good control and placement. Now it's Teranga leaning back on the drive, taking the aerial route. And once you go past the infield, it's going to be boundaries here. And all the Sri Lankan left-handers play this shot well. Taranga especially. Either in the air or on the ground. No attempt to keep it down. There was no one out. Inside edge. That will be another boundary. Things going in Sri Lanka's way. Well, he's trying his best, Shane Bond, but to add insult to injury. And inside edge and four more. He's been hit for consecutive boundaries now. This one, albeit a bit streaky. And he's not particularly a happy camper right now. Oh, good delivery, and it's gone. This is a big shout, and up goes the umpire's finger. Jasuria wasn't quite sure. He felt that he hadn't touched it, but the New Zealanders, they went up in unison. Well, it's not, uh, it's not usual for someone to just hang around like that. It's definitely decked back, and uh, whether it's hit the inside edge of the bat or it's just flicked his pad on the way through, but he, he looks disappointed. He was in for a big one tonight. He's, go, he's gone, though, for 20. It's 45 for one. The noise was there. Everything looked good. Yes, I think the disappointment is probably because he was batting so well. The timing was right. Made some glorious shots. And uh, there you are. touch the pad or the bat but, uh, get the feeling that that probably was the pad oh that's beautifully played by Taranga he seems to be in great touch was stuck into that he did through the line and uh, the Sri Lankans have got plan and they're executing it to perfection well I think it's a very simple plan they just play their natural game and this is the way these guys should play all the time. They should never change their game plan. If it's there, take full advantage of it. It's slightly over pitched. Once again, who in there played it into the gap. Taranga looking for runs, and that's probably running down to the boundary. Grounds very fast. Picks up another boundary, Taranga. Sri Lanka 54 for one. <laughs> 